I met uh, Sherlyn in 2006 at Ivodale Children's Home where I was raised and um, she's been a great great mom, great person, great leader, great mentor and uh, a great support to have around and um, she's, she's basically changed my life. Well, I met her at Iverdale Shelter and uh, she was 12 years old and then she went off with a foster family for a while and uh, came back and uh, then was in boarding school. For those of you who don't know me, because I haven't been there for a long time, I'm one of the original Earl's Pearls, and I'm one of your missionaries in uh, in uh, Africa, in Zimbabwe. And uh, what I do here is I work with women and I work with children, especially orphans. I work with vulnerable children. Uh, the church I belong to has a orphanage called. Um, a Moses basket and what they do is they take in the babies that have been dumped. Uh, there's a lot of babies dumped. With something like 200 babies a month dumped at just one of the government hospitals, Paranatwa, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> as some of the, uh, some of them are dumped when uh, their little bodies are dumped because uh, they're dead and some of them are dumped alive. And, uh, so that's what Moses Basket does, is it takes in uh, these babies. We have 15 babies now. And, uh, what I want for the future, what I, where I see God leading me, and where we're doing fundraising is, I pay school fees for a little boy named Moses, which lived, who lived with me for five years. There are lots of young people like this who just because of financial background and because of losing their parents, um, HIV AIDS takes a tremendous amount of parents in this country and leaves children vulnerable um, to be raised by grandparents or by orphanages. And they don't have much of a future without somebody stepping in and helping. But most orphanages don't have the resources for that. They struggle just to keep food on the table and blankets. There's an orphanage in downtown Harare that the children sleep on the floor with a blanket. And, uh, and they, they're blessed to eat once a day or twice a day. And so to prepare these children, you know, these young people uh, to support themselves is, uh, is uh, beyond their means. So she's a mother to many. She's a sister to many. She's, she's a loving mom. She's a loving person. Thank you, America, for standing here. Celebration Church, thank you so much for all your love, your prayers, and uh, your support, both emotional and financial support. You have no idea the good that you were seeding into. I'm so grateful to you. God bless you. Bye.